We're here today sitting in this very modern world because we figured out agriculture. Whether or not we stay here in the next thousand years will really depend on what we do in these next two, three hundred years. My name is Girish Chowdhury and I am primarily affiliated with Ag and Bioengineering here in ASIS. We started working on this robot, Terra Sentia. Our idea was that let's make a robot that can go under the plant canopy and get data that's not visible to drones and to satellites. Our division focuses on getting students in and training them in ag engineering along with other forms of uh, traditional engineering, building a strong foundation of mathematics and then building it up to algorithm development, robot development, thinking about the systemic effects of the robots and creating new solutions for the growing population. I decided to choose ABE because it's a mix of engineering with the environment, biology, and agricultural robotics is a big topic, and I was really interested in pursuing that. I've done a lot, I guess, in the past four and a half years. I conducted research for over three years in software engineering, robotics engineering, and biological engineering. I'm a part of Reinvented Magazine, which is the nation's first ever print magazine made for women in STEM by women in STEM. I conduct speeches about why it's important for girls to become involved in computer science and STEM. You have so many chances to do a lot of great things, and U of I really helps with that. So you have your technical skills, which a lot of our laboratories, such as the welding laboratory, construction materials lab, do a lot of labs that revolve around agricultural or construction equipment in industry. You have the opportunity to network with a lot of other students from various cultures, as well as employers that can send you all around the world and I think you need to take advantage of those and figure out what you really enjoy in life. Many students are really interested in where their food comes from, and it's a growing area of interest uh, across all of our populations, and we have the opportunity to work with them in real systems, and within that, identify how they can play a role in improving those systems. Going on a journey of exploring a lot of different things and finding out what you do and don't like helps you to land with something that is the best place for you to be. We train our students to be systems thinkers and to uh, solve complex problems in a real world setting. You can learn and develop technologies that can make a difference in the lives of people all around the world. I think ACES has really given me a good chance to have all of these opportunities and I wouldn't be where I am today without ACES and ABE and you know, U of I as a whole. It's given me so many opportunities and I'm so grateful for it. And so I hope to, you know, forever have a connection with U of I.